actually helps them leave class more joyous <laughs> and energetic. As for the goats, they're probably upset and mad. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't think so. I think I would be too relaxed, but I commend them for trying. Yeah, yeah. for trying. My yeah. goodness. Weather-wise, the heat, we're loving Ooh, it, right? Yeah. I guess some people have been waiting for this all summer. <laughs> Look, in January some. or February, right. we're going to be really looking right. forward to it, 90s, it, right? It, 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 it's all right. <laughs> Not me. Not me, by the way. Hey, we hit 92. You have to well. go all the way back to August of last year. You have to go back to September 2010 to find a temperature this warm, wow. this late <laughs> in the season. And we're going to do it all over again the next several days. Let's give you the numbers now. 80 degrees. I mentioned 92. Our average high, by the way, is 76. The record for this date, uh, 96 as well. So uh, not far from that. We'll be closer to records than averages here the next several days. Calm wind. We'll cool off a little bit, but not much below 70 degrees. So uh, as we go through tonight into tomorrow morning, send the kids out to school. Uh, we're going to be in the middle and upper 60s. Some patchy fog around tomorrow morning. Chuck Lofton going to be at Ron Colley for Operation Football Sunrise. We'll get everything started there at 4 o'clock in the morning. Should be a fun time. they got a big game uh, tomorrow against Brebuff. And starting out your day in the mid 70s, noontime temperatures already at about 85, with the heat index pushing almost 90 at that time. And we're going to forecast 91 degrees. The air is almost going to be about the same as over had today. Here's heat, in these, uh, heat index tomorrow, uh, 97 Lafayette, 93 Indy. At times, maybe a little higher than that. So very uncomfortable for the football games tomorrow as well, although it will be dry. There's just a slim chance we, we would have a shower or thunderstorm pop the next few days. Jumping to Saturday, temperatures right back into the upper 80s and lower 90s. The air doesn't change much at all. Head on downtown, Circle City Classic Parade. Going to be a lot of sunshine. Uh, we'll be down there. Things start at uh, 10 o'clock. And uh, wear the comfortable clothes. Got the football game at uh, IU at the Rock, Georgia Southern, kickoff at 3.30, and a big one up in West Lafayette. Purdue fans have been waiting for this one. Michigan kicks off at 4 p.m. It is going to be a hot one, too. Kickoff temperatures at or above 90, and here you go. This is Sunday. We're right back at 90, so when will the pattern break? We're still thinking cold front gets in here late Wednesday, and as it does so, it brings in much cooler conditions for next weekend as we open up October with an autumn-like note. Between now and then, however, daytime highs will be in the lower 90s. That means a hot tailgate for your Colts fans there on Sunday. But we've got 40s and 60s late next week. Jason? Yeah, who says false?